Do you have multiple Nutanix clusters managed by a single Prism Central instance, and you want your admins and users logging into that Prism Central to have access to only specific clusters? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, a technical marketing engineer here at Nutanix, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to set up cluster role-based access control within Prism Central. Let's take a look. Cluster RBAC has been available since Prism Central 2021.3 and requires the microservices infrastructure to be enabled, which can be enabled from the Prism Central settings. So I'm currently logged into Prism Central with the default admin credentials, so I have the highest level admin rights and can see and manage every cluster registered to this Prism Central. So we can see the alerts and the VMs and everything across all of the clusters. Now we can already assign users and groups specific role mappings, but prior to cluster RBAC, a user or group who was granted a specific role would have that role for every cluster registered to this Prism Central. Now with cluster RBAC, we can selectively assign clusters to users or groups. So let's see how we can enable this. So let's first take a look at our cluster and our Active Directory setup. I have three clusters in my environment, one in San Jose, one in RTP, and one in New York City. For my users and groups, I have three sets of admin groups. I have my admins that I want to be responsible for managing my San Jose cluster, another group of admins for RTP, and a third group that's responsible for both clusters on the East Coast, so both RTP and New York. And we also have a fourth group that should have view-only rights into both East Coast clusters. So let's see how we can set this up. Back in Prism Central, as the admin user, first ensure that you have your Active Directory set up we can see that we have our Nutanix lab configuration set up. Then navigate to administration roles. We'll use the default Prism admin role for all of our admins. Click on manage assignment, and here's where we'll selectively assign our users to clusters. So for the San Jose admins, we'll give them rights to the SJC cluster, RTP admins to the RTP cluster, and then the East Coast admins should have rights to both the RTP and New York clusters. And we'll do something similar for the Prism Viewer role, where we'll add the EC Viewer group to the two East Coast clusters. Now to test this out, we'll log in as the SJC admin user. And as expected, they can only see and manage the SJC cluster. They have full rights to everything on the cluster so they can create VMs, clone VMs, and manage everything about the cluster. Similarly, the RTP admin has the same type of access but only for the RTP cluster. And then our East Coast admins have full admin rights into both the RTP and NYC clusters. So they have full control over all the VMs and entities in those clusters. And then finally, logging in as the East Coast viewer, we can see that they can also see the RTP and NYC clusters, but they cannot create or clone or do anything with the VMs. They only have view rights to these VMs and other entities within the cluster. So as you can see, it's very simple to set up cluster role-based access control for individual clusters for all your users and admins logging into the same Prism Central instance. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other Tech Bytes videos and hit that like and subscribe button to be the first to know when new content is released. See you in the next video.